It's another wonderful episode where we go to a character cafe. Welcome to TJ and Character Cafe. So we've been to the Gudetama one, we've been to the Sailor Moon one, and now we're at the Pushing Cafe. <laughs> Some of you guys, or most of you guys, are probably familiar with Pushing. Um, I guess the place where you will find it the most is Facebook stickers. So if you guys use Facebook stickers, there's a Pushing pack that you have to download and start sending to your friends. Pushing is doing a collaboration with Kumoya. <laughs> Am I saying that right? They're a cafe that do different character cafes. So after a few months, they kind of recycle different themes. Same as the Sailor Moon one that we went to in Hong Kong. Let's see what type of stuff they have on the menu. <clears throat> it says the Queen of Cats is here to dine with you. It is a pop-up cafe from January to March 2019, and it is the world's first pushing pop-up cafe. The world's first pop-up cafe. What? The we are trendsetters, okay? Just so you guys know, there's a minimum spending of $10 per person, Singaporean dollar. It's actually quite easy to spend that because every item on the menu is over 10, 10 to 20. So looking at here, some appetizers, we have some fries, we have some karage, and over here we have crab delightful dip. That sounds so cool. And on the next page, we have more snacks. Over here, we get into the main course, and we got some seafood curry rice. We're pushing it's a chip, it's the pushing it's in the rice. Oh my, oh my god. So over here, there's a pushing cat napping over an egg blanket. Oh my god, this is so dreamy. I don't want to show you everything because I already ordered something on the desserts menu and they are coming. So wait until the surprise. Yay! The first item up is a <clears throat> Pushini Corn Pretty and Pink Peach Soda. Now, because we were filming the intro, the cotton candy kind of melted. So it is not as dreamy, as fluffy as when we first got it. Okay, you guys, this looks like a major sugar rush. Like, I'm just gonna eat it, and my taste buds are gonna get all tingly and bunch up. Here we go. So there's cotton candy, and what is this? What is this right here? Oh, it's a unicorn pushy sleeping on a moon. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want to keep this. How do I take this off? All right, we'll take this off. Oh my gosh, the cotton candy is so sticky. I guess let's just let's just bite into it, huh? Oh, so sweet. My mouth is trying to dissolve the cotton candy. <laughs> okay, finally I just finished dissolving uh, the cotton candy. The cotton candy is really really sweet. There's a lot of sugar. It's much thicker, much more sugary than most cotton candy. Uh, the soda. Unfortunately, this. <laughs> It's not really like peach soda, it's like um, Sprite that you kind of have left out and you add a little bit of peach syrup in there. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what it tastes like. But again, that is what all drinks at Character Cat Face kind of taste like. You know, it's just a little bit of cuteness and then inside you open it up and it's some disappointment. <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> I think you're supposed to add in the cotton candy. So let's see what this is like. Right? I'm supposed to do that? <laughs> Oh, okay. See, now it's a little bit sweeter. Um, but still, it tastes it's just a syrup blast, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta move on to the next item, but this is sweetness. It was really cute, though. It was really insta worthy. Our main food items are up, but before we start, <laughs> we have an eating pail. <laughs> when you are lonely forever and your only friends are plushies. <laughs> Great. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you order any drink, it comes with a coaster. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can bring it home to your mom and your dad. Look how cute that is. Okay, moving on. Okay, back to the burger. So check it out. So inside the burger, there is, I believe this is a fish patty. Um, look how cute this is. Oh, the ears are actually made out of paper. So you can kind of take it off. <laughs> you can put it anywhere you want, you know? You can, you can put it here. So it has a fin. It's a shark burger now. <laughs> It looks like a shark burger. Sorry, don't play with your food. I'm sorry about that. Let me take off the ears. <laughs> We're gonna take a bite into this. Ready? Oh, it's just so cute. Man, if I make burgers at home, I gotta learn how to put the face on it like this. Take a bite. Oh. This is a shrimp burger. With the shrimp burger, there's cheese, tomatoes in there. And the shrimp burger is actually very crunchy. Nice chunky shrimp pieces inside. That's good. I want more of the shrimp burger and less of everything else. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. The shrimp 
patty inside. I actually like the addition of the cheese, adds much more flavor. The outer layer, the bun, it's not like a burger bun where it's a little bit softer. It's much more similar to a bao bun, so the Chinese bao bun. So it's got a little bit of a bounce to it. Yeah, we're gonna take one more bite. Mmm. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. In addition to the burger, there's these little shrimp tempura with a little pushing tied to balloons. It's gonna fly away like my hopes and dreams. <laughs> We're gonna see if there's actually a good piece of shrimp in there or if it's just batter. Mm, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh my god. It's like a crunchy, crunchy fries. It's so crispy and flaky on the outside. When you bite in, it's just nice, moist shrimp. Mmm! Mmm, I like this very much. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if there's... I think this is just the bun. Oh yeah. There's nothing in here. But it's pink. So that's cute. I don't know if the, they actually need to add an additional bun because this bun is really so big. Okay, speaking of buns, transitioning to our next dish right here. I think this is 10 or 12 dollars. But you don't need to worry about spending the money because you get a little card that you can then take home with you. There we go, yep. Worth, worth every penny right here. Look how cute this is, oh my gosh. This is like looking in a mirror, honestly. Over here, we have the green tea bun. Okay guys, we're gonna take a bite into this green paste. Ready? Mmm, mm, very good. Mmm. Mm. This green tea paste actually tastes like matcha green tea. Um, and it's not too sweet like the soda. It's actually perfectly balanced, so this, I, I, I can get down with this. Oh, mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> For our very last item, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Pushing Perfect Surprise Choco Ball of Yum. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Pokeball, but we're pushing. Oh my gosh. The steam milk is being poured. It smells like strawberry milk. <gasps> the thing is melting. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is like a colorful cereal. This is what unicorns eat, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's cereal inside, marshmallow. There's a whole cake. <laughs> There's a slice of kiwi and a slice of strawberry. <laughs> this is so wonderful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Is this edible? <laughs> So let's dig into this unicorn throw up. Look at this. All right, I think that the milk is uh, strawberry milk. All right, let's try it. This is so interesting. <laughs> Guys, the reason why this is so interesting is because the milk is hot. So it's a, it's a hot milk cereal. <laughs> um, and the chocolate is just a giant chunk of chocolate now. So you're basically, is this tapioca? Oh, it's blueberry. It's a piece of blueberry. You're basically drinking a hot cereal, ice cream, marshmallow candy soup. <laughs> I'm gonna get cavities after this. There's even a whole cake in here. Look at that, whole strawberry cake. Oh my goodness. You take a bite of this cake. Mmm. The cake and salt is very delicious, but the fact that it's soaked in this steamed milk and adding everything, it's a little bit of um it's a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the person who invented it. He's like, or she, he, she's like, mm, yeah, and it's all gonna be mixed together and mmm, and then the person will just scoop everything. <laughs> I've never eaten anything like this before. This is what seven-year-old TJ would have made in the kitchen. <laughs> this is basically a kid's, kid's dream meal, I think. Let's try some of this ice cream. Ice cream presentation is pretty normal. Let's try it. Oh, it's pretty soft. Oh my gosh. This ice cream saved the day. Oh. Mm. It's a lychee flavor. I've never had lychee flavor ice cream, or at least lychee flavor soft serve. I've never had that before. This is delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, thank you ice cream. Ice cream is very yummy. And I will say that um, melted chocolate ball was very, very creative. I've never seen anything like that. And of all the character cafe foods, I think that was the most 
creative. So congratulations, Pusheen. You did it. You did it. Okay, everybody, so there you go. That was the Pushing Cafe experience here in Singapore. This is the first ever Pushing Cafe in the world, and I don't expect it to be the last. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop up somewhere. Maybe in Hong Kong, maybe in Taiwan. Who knows? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that experience. That was super fun. You don't go to character cafes for good food, you go there for fun food for the decoration for just a really Instagramable experience and that's exactly what we got. I am quite, I'm pretty much on a sugar high right now so we're gonna go explore the rest of Singapore, blow off this energy. Be sure to thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!